Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do IPOs work? An initial public offering, IPO, is the process by which a private company issues stock to the public for the first time, transitioning from private to public ownership. Pre-IPO process. Before an IPO, a company is considered private, with shares held by a small number of shareholders, including founders, family, and professional investors like venture capitalists. Decision to go public. A company decides to go public when it believes it is mature enough to handle the rigors of public market regulations and the benefits of being a publicly traded company. This often occurs when a company reaches a significant valuation, such as $1 billion. Role of underwriters. The company hires investment banks to act as underwriters. These underwriters help with the securities registration process, gauge demand, set the IPO price and date, and market the shares. IPO process. The underwriters assemble a syndicate of investment banks and broker dealers to sell the shares to institutional and individual investors. The IPO price is determined based on various factors, including indications of interest from potential investors. Listing on stock exchanges. After the IPO, the company's shares are listed on a public stock exchange, such as the New York Stock Exchange, or Myesen, or NASDAQ. This listing includes a stock ticker symbol, making it easy to identify and trade the stock. Regulatory requirements. IPOs are regulated by securities laws, such as the Securities Act of 1933 in the United States. Companies must meet specific requirements by exchanges and regulatory bodies to hold an IPO. Benefits and risks. An IPO allows a company to raise capital, increase its public profile, and provide liquidity to existing shareholders. However, it also involves significant costs, including banking and legal fees and ongoing disclosure requirements. Post-IPO trading. After the IPO, shares are traded freely in the open market. Investors can buy and sell these shares, but selling shares immediately after an IPO, known as flipping, is often discouraged by brokerage firms. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.